back to my channel, it's Yasmin here and first of all I have to apologise once again if you've seen other videos of mine recently and you already know about this but anyway if you don't, you don't. If you do, I'm really really sorry if you hear any kind of humming in this video, I'm doing my absolute best just to like mute it out. My fridge and freezer is kind of like making this weird noise and because of the situation which I can't tell you what but you know what, yeah I don't really want a technician out to come and like rumble with it kind of thing so I very very sorry but I hope you can bear with it for this video and I'm gonna try and get onto it once you know things settle down so because like the nail salons are currently closed I haven't been able to go get my pedicures done but prior to that like for years and years and years I used to do my own pedicure and admittedly I can never do it on myself as good as what the nail salon ladies can do like ever 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 and when I leave the nail salon and I get my feet done I'm like wow I feel just so pampered my toes look great but you know what I also maintain it a little bit uh, every you know couple of weeks because I go to the nail salon about every three four weeks to get my feet done and Sometimes, you know, like I might be traveling and I don't really have time to go anywhere. I just always have things around in which I can do it for myself. So I felt like today was a day that I had like a lot of running around to do, just a lot of errands, a lot of running around, housework to do. The past like, you know, three days I've had a lot of things going on. And today, this evening, I just thought I need to unwind and give myself a bit of a self-love evening. So I've accompanied this. I'm just going to do my little pedicure. I've got some cocoa here, which is like a hot chocolate. It is the Loving Earth hot chocolate. It is dark hot chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is my favorite. It's also the best. If you have any insulin issues like PCOS, insulin resistance, or diabetes, you're better off to go for a dark. This does not have any sugar in it. It's 72% raw dark chocolate. The evaporated coconut nectar, 77% cocoa certified organic direct trade. I'm like just loving it and I've also got myself some 85% Loving Earth Dark Chocolate and in the Loving Earth Dark Chocolate there is 75% raw cacao beans, 15% evaporated coconut nectar, 10% cacao butter, cashew hyazona almond, 85% mineral cacao, like it doesn't have any nasties in there, any sugar or whatever. I've also got a candle going, um, just some water. I have my phone while I'm sitting here relaxing. So the main ingredient you're going to need for your pedicure is paraffin oil. You can pick this up at the pharmacy. It's called a drugstore in the United States. I know you just call it something different. Usually in Australia, they'll keep this behind the counter or behind with the pharmacist because paraffin, liquid paraffin is also a laxative. So it's a medicine and you need to keep this away from children, even though like in this particular one, the lid is like one of those safety lids because if they drink it, like they can get quite sick. So it's a, but it's also a skin emollient, very similar to castor oil. Castor oil um, is both as well. Whoa, it's a little hot. Ooh. Ooh. While that cools down a little bit, I'll explain to you some of my other tools. So I put some drops of this into my water. You can also use other kind of things like, you know, they have this blue thing that they use in the nail salons and I have no idea what it is, but for me, I like paraffin. So I'm just gonna put like, a little bit of oil in there. So just a little tip with paraffin as well. At night time, my hands are so gross right now because of all the cleaning, all the hand sanitizing. I've grabbed some white gloves, but they're getting washed, of course. Um, is to put some of this on your hands as like a moisturizer, rub it in, and then put the white gloves on, obviously because you don't want to get like stuff everywhere over your sheets and stuff I guess. Then what I have is my plane. Now some people are against these planes because they say it makes the skin grow back more coarse. They are technically corn planes and podiatrist tools. Some pedicures don't use them, some do. For me, I like it. For me, I feel like it gets rid of all the dead skin. So you have to be a little careful with these when these are new because they're super sharp. I've like given myself like in the near many years I've been doing this, some like hell hectic damage, but we won't go into that. So put this on. Look, in all honesty, this and my loofah are old, and I could have gone out and bought new things for the sake of this video, but that's just like wasteful. And you put this in like the blade into that little pocket just there. Be very careful with these, it's super sharp. Put these in like that, and then what I do is that you need to push that up. Be very careful, but I use a towel because I can get it on properly. 
without hurting my fingers. So what you'll need to know is that when you're doing this, the sharp blade needs to be on the bottom bit, not on the top bit. If it's on the top bit, it means you just need to flip this around and put it in the other way. It needs to be on the bottom bits because that's the bit you're gonna be slicing with. I cannot reiterate to you this enough. Be very, very careful when you're doing this on your own feet as to not slice your, your skin off because it's happened to me a few times. It doesn't hurt, but it leaves one hell of a cut that takes like a good couple of weeks to heal. For some reason, like the nail shop ladies have never done it to me. Like they've never cut me ever. And I always kind of like look at them and kind of think like they're going to, but they once it's kind of like being done, I always feel like the skin is really rough. So then I get one of my loofah. This is an old loofah, but as I said, I don't really care. And then I just buff everything down to make it all like soft and smooth. To go over my cuticles, I'm not like an expert with the cuticles. I am like in no way means I admire how the natural ladies do it so much. Is I have one of these little tools here and I like push the cuticles up using this, the back of one of these. And then you can either slice it off using one of these or like cut it. This is also really good for getting the dead skin around the toe. I have my nail file and my nail buffer essentials. Finish this all off, I rub some heel balm in it. This is really good and it's, Something you should probably use every day even to just maintain your pedicure. Any brand is fine as long as it contains urea, U-R-E-A. If it has urea in it, it's fine. I personally like this Neat Feet one. There are a couple of other brands that I particularly like. It just makes my feet oh, amazing and my pedicures last a lot longer. So this is still cooling down, so I'm gonna let it cool down a little longer and then I'm gonna film all of this for you. You know, just soak your feet, go on your phone, have something nice to eat or drink or some chocolate, put on a mask, just, I don't know, soak your feet for 10 minutes and relax. Now it's time to use the plane on each foot. Do one foot at a time, so take your foot out, dry it off, and then do one foot. Once that is done, put it back inside the water and then do the other foot. Or you can just loofer it off immediately after you have done that and then proceed to the next foot. It's really your choice what you feel like doing in what order. to put the foot back in while doing the next foot. the dead skin nice and soft and smooth all over both of your feet and toes you can't do any damage with the loofah now it's time to dry the feet move your water to the side and then work on the cuticles of your toes and file and buff down. When you're doing your cuticles, you need to still be really careful because it is easy to cut yourself or to push it down way too far.
now it's time to put the lotion in. Just use your lotion and massage it right into your toes. It's a nice idea to put some socks on afterwards so you don't slip all over the floor and it will just mean it'll all sink into your feet. Now, because you're using this only on yourself, well, I hope you're only using it only on yourself and not using it on other people, you can like reattach the blade ready for next time. It's not an issue. You'll get like a few uses out of this. What you'll find though is the more you use it, after a few goes, it will become blunter. Now, the blades you can also recycle. So what I do, it's the same as when I have my um, my shaving because I shave with a safety razor. I have like an aluminium can, like can, like an old soft drink can or coconut water, and I put everything in there so I can put it all in the recycling bin. Once it's full, it will take a long time to fill up. So that's ready to go for next time um, because obviously, like if you're doing it on other people you need to use different tools, right? Like, don't be gross and use the same tools on you as you are for everyone else because that's just, like, disgusting. If you like this video, please remember to give me the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the bell notification if you'd like to see more. See ya!